Hello and welcome back to this, our third session on body percussion with Abanaza. I thought we'd spend today learning some new keywords and definitions. Uh, wait, 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 no, no, don't, don't turn it off. Stay, stay where you are. Keep, keep watching. I, I promise it'll be fun. You see, we've already learned most of the words on here. Yes, you already know them. I've been drip feeding them in previous sessions, you see. Take the first word here. Tempo. Well, I mentioned that on the first session and briefly said it means the speed of a piece of music. So you already know that one. Tempo equals speed. So if I shout out speed, you reply tempo. Speed. Speed. Well, you're going to have to shout louder than that. Uh, the next word, timbre. Timbre. Now, I did mention that in the past two sessions, but never said what it means. Timbre is the type of sound an instrument makes. So if I were to clap, I'd get a high poppy sound. If I were to chest bump, I get a deep thud. Those sounds have different timbres. So if I shout the type of sound an instrument makes, not very catchy, but if I shout out the type of sound an instrument makes, you reply timbre. Let's try it nice and loud. The type of sound an instrument makes. The type of sound an instrument makes. Very good. And there's more words we already know. You know what a rest is in music. It's that one beat of silence. So, now I shall shout silence and you reply rest. Let's try it. Silence. Silence. Now you're getting the hang of it. Remember last session, we did triplets. We learned that a triplet is quite a long definition coming up. A group of three sounds squished into one beat. I'll just shout out groups of three and you reply triplets. <coughs> groups of three! <coughs> groups of three! <coughs> you see, you already knew these words. Oh, uh, there is a final word I would like to introduce you to which we haven't mentioned before. It's dynamics. Dynamics is the volume of a piece of music. Well, actually, it's a bit more complicated than that. It's how hard or soft you play a sound. So, a dynamic could be very, very loud, or it could be very, very soft or quiet. And we'll be exploring this one in more detail today. So for now, I shall shout volume, you reply dynamics. Volume. Volume! Ah, oh, I tell you what, let's do some call and response and actually play some body percussion music. But I'll also be shouting out some of these definitions and I'd love for you to shout out the word. For example, if I did some body percussion, you would repeat it. But if I shout out speed, don't repeat speed, you shout out the musical word for it. Speed, tempo, speed, tempo. And we'll mix and match between actions and words for our first call and response session. Right, let's give it a go. <laughs> The type of sound an instrument makes. The 
type of sound an instrument makes. Silence. Speed. Speed. Silence. Volume. 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 <laughs> Splendid. You made it through the core response. Did you manage to keep up with the actions? I'm sure you did. What about the words? Now that's tricky, wasn't it? Having to think the answer very quickly. Well done for getting this far. And tell you what, let's dive into dynamics a little more deeply with today's session. Now then, oh, the table's here. Great. Now, in the first session, we used an orange to represent one beat of music. And we had four of these oranges, therefore, four beats of music. One, two, three, four. We then used lemons to split each beat into two. So instead of counting one, two, three, four, we went one and two, three, four. We split the first beat into two. In last week's session, we split each beat into three. So we've done one beat, two mini beats. We used a box for the three mini beats or triplet. So today, I'm sure you've guessed it, we're going to split each beat into four mini beats. Now this has a very musical sounding name. They're called semi-quavers. That's right, semi-quavers. Now I've used oranges, I've used lemons, I've used a box. What could I use to represent semi-quavers? <laughs> I've got just the thing. <laughs> That's right, quaver, quavers. No, I need semi-quavers. I can't use quavers, that means something different. Ah, I know. Semi-quavers are actually smaller than real quavers. So I'll just make these quavers smaller. There we go, semi-quavers. I shall use this to represent not two, not three, but four very fast, quick, mini beats. So, whereas before we had one, two, three, four, now on beat one, we're going to do four really fast. One, two, three, four. And then carry on the other separate beats. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. Da, 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 two, three, four. semi quaver two, three, four. Very fast, very difficult. So why not try after me? Let's just stick with the hand claps for now. After me, one, two, three, four. How are you getting on with those fast semi quaver claps? Very difficult. Keep practicing. I tell you what, we'll move the semi quavers to beat two instead. So beat one will remain a single clap and then four very quick semi-quavers on beat two. And carry on with three and four. I'll play it, you repeat it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. You guessed it, we'll move them to beat three. Straight in after me, one. And why not try it on beat four as well? The final four semiquavers appearing on the last beat. Repeat. One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ta. 
Of course, we'll be using different parts of the body with all the semi-quaver business. I just thought we'd try and cement that understanding first. <laughs> Ooh, I do have more bags of quavers. So we could try semi-quavers on more than one beat. Ah, semi-quavers, of course. Can't have standard quavers, can we? There we go. Much smaller. Now we have some more semi quavers. So how would it sound on perhaps beat one and beat two? Well, it would go like this. One, two, three, four. Oh, tell you what, try that after me. But let's not just use the hands. Let's get other parts of the body involved as well now. So watch carefully. One, two, three, after me. I feel like King Kong with that one. Oh, or Tarzan. Hmm. Oh, let's get some more quavers in. Turn them by magic into semi quavers. And place them on beat three. Quite fast, quite furious this one. What part of the body shall we go for? Ah. Let's get the feet involved, shall we? If only it was just four beats. Nice and easy. One, two, three, four. But no, we're turning the first beat into four semiquavers, the second beat into four semiquavers, and the third beat into four semiquavers. So we'll have da 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 after me, purely with the feet. Three sets of semi quavers, and then a final fourth beat finish. One, two, three, four. <laughs> well, we've got to, haven't we? We've got to finish it off with a final set of semi quavers. All four, what shall we use? Claps, no, done that. Chest, done that. Feet, I tell you what, let's move all up the body. So we'll start here with some feet stomps. One, two, three, four. And then here on the second beat, we'll go slightly higher on the hips. Four hip slaps, one, two, three, four. Here, let's go, let's go chest, like that Tarzan King Kong move earlier. Oh. And finally, four claps. It'll be very quick, it'll be very difficult, and it should sound like this. One, two, three, four. Whew. Da, 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 Right, join in this time. Repeat after me. Here we go. All four beats of semiquavers. One, two, three, four. Well done! I thought it'd be a nice idea to play some examples with a backing track. And yes, like normal, I'll be moving things around, so keep watching and repeat my call and response phrases as we continue. Right, let's just start with the one bag of semi quavers. Watch where it gets put down, and we'll try some call and response with a backing track. One, two, three, four.
complete silence. Fourth beat, silent. Second beat, more semi-quavers. Congratulations for again making it through another deviously difficult task, keeping up with these semi-quavers. <laughs> now it's about time I showed you the new section for today. That's right, the next piece of our musical extravaganza that we've been building on from week one. In week one, we learned a few bars of body percussion. Week two, we learned some more, including triplets. Week three, well, we have a new set of bars to learn and hopefully be able to play. And each week we're building our song bigger and longer and hopefully more exciting. If you haven't seen those previous sessions and want to find out how the previous bars go and how they're played, then by all means check out videos 1 and videos 2 to bring you up to speed. Or should I say, bring you up to tempo. <laughs> speed! You're not shouting it. Speed! Speed! There we go, there we go, good. Now. Let's show you today's new bars. It will, of course, involve semiquavers, but it starts off with just semiquavers on beat three. One, two, da 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 da, four. One, two, three, da da da, four. The actions go like this. Beat one is a jump or a double foot stomp. You may remember from session one, I had little flags that had this information on. Well, I'm going to bring the flags back so you can see what the actions are. Flag for feet, here it comes. There we go, nice and clear. Oh, well that, that's tiny. Can, can, you, can you even see that? It's, it's got a footprint on. Well, I tell you what, I'll leave it there anyway. But in case you can't see it, I've made all the sheet music and notation available to download below. So click that link if you want to see this written out more clearly. <laughs> and you can practice in your own time, of course. The second beat, the action, is a hip slap with both hands. Let's see the hip slap flag. <laughs> of course, it has an H on it for hips. Three is a chest tap. Both hands still. C for chest. <laughs> and beat four is a clap. I've already used C for chest. What shall I use for clap? <laughs> Hands. There we go. Hand symbol for a clap. So, our four actions in order are feet, a jump, hips, chest, clap. It sort of moves up the body. But remember, beat three on the chest is four semiquavers. Da 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 da. Oh. Let's try the whole thing after me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, da, 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 four. Okay, splendid. Now, we play this four times. However, you're probably thinking, hang on a minute, Abenaza. You are shouting out words at the start of this. We had to call out tempo, timbre, Dynamics, and you've not mentioned once about this new word dynamics. Well, I've been waiting until now because we play this four times through, but the first time you play it, you play it very softly, very quietly. Quiet jump, quiet hip tap, quiet semi quaver chest bumps, quiet clap. That's the first time. The second time gets slightly louder. <laughs> the third time, louder still. And the fourth time, as loud as you can play it, safely, but really go for it. So, we gradually get louder. That has a special musical word as well. Gradually getting louder in music is called a 
crescendo. I tell you what, I'll shout out gradually getting louder. You reply crescendo. Gradually getting louder. Gradually getting louder. I'll say gradually getting louder, but I'll actually get louder as I say it, like this. Gradually getting louder. I'd like you to go crescendo and do the same thing with the word. Here we go. Gradually getting louder. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I forgot. We must get playing the body percussion piece. Here we go. Let's try it four times, gradually getting louder, a crescendo as we perform. Right, with me. But that's not all there is. We play that four times and then I'm afraid it changes. The actions don't change. That will remain feet, hips, chest and clap. But the semi-quaver placement will. Once we've done that rhythm four times, just as we practiced, we'll then move the semi-quavers here to beat one. How would that sound? How would that change what you've done? Well, it will go like this now. One, two, three, four. You'll have four very fast leg stomps at the start. Now, probably best to do separate legs for this one, one, two, three, four, rather than one, two, three, four, four intense jumps. We could do some serious damage that way. <laughs> so, four separate leg stomps, one, two, three, four, and then hips, chest, clap. We just do that the one time. And then we increase the amount of semi quavers by placing some on beat two. So, it will then go one, two, three, four with the legs. Four hip slaps, one, two, three, four, and then single chest, single clap. The next bar, you've probably predicted what happens. Quavers added to the third beat, and we're getting more intense as the rhythm continues. Now we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, clap. And of course, the fourth time we do it, Four claps at the end, very fast, as semi-quavers. So it finishes with this fully semi-quavered bar of music, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, but don't shout one, two, three, four. That will ruin the musical effect. It should sound like this. Try this very last, most difficult stage after me. One, two, three, four. We build up to that. Remember, it starts off with just the one, and it gradually builds and builds. Let's try the whole thing. Remember the first set of bars? The first set of bars was just this. Jump, hips, chest, semi-gravers, da 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 da, clap. But the difference was we got louder as we played it four times. Then it goes into the big build-up set of bars. I tell you what, let's just play it with a backing track, follow me for the actions and I'm sure we'll get through it. New set of bars, one, two, three, Wait, wait, stop, stop the music, cut! <laughs> that was a bit intense, wasn't it? Tell you what, I'll use magic to create the music down below rather than trying to grab the packets of semi-quavers. <laughs> so you'll see these pop up by magic as we play and concentrate on the actual music. Let's go again.
what? Let's try it one more time, but without the gap in the middle. So we'll go straight from the crescendo, oh the crescendo bars into the big build-up bars. Good luck. body percussion playing all of you well done to finish i'd like to try those bars we've just learned plus last week's triplet bars and the first session's rest filled bars as well now this might be tricky if you're just tuning in for the first time but remember all the music can be downloaded below and you can watch the videos beforehand to catch up but for those of you who've been here for all three let's try no music pure memory playing all three sessions worth of our song and see how it sounds. Right, let's get rid of the table. Ah, I tell you what, I may just know a spell or two that I can conjure up the music to appear at the right time. So all is not lost, you won't have to go purely from memory, there will be some nudges and help on the screen. Let me show you, like this. Oh, oh no, that's, that's far too big. Well, uh, hello, no, that's too low. Uh, no, uh, ah, I'll work on reducing the size of the music. You work on getting the steps, actions, and the rhythms right. Okay, let's try this. Congratulations, what a musical workout of body percussion that was. Take a well-earned break, have a sip of water, and congratulate yourself on completing session three of body percussion with Abanaza. One final word, there is still that link where you can submit your own videos, perhaps of yourself playing that supremely challenging piece of music that we've just done. You can record yourself performing it. I've even included the backing track, again, below, for you to download and practice at home with. So feel free, feel brave to submit those videos and I'll perhaps share them in a future video. So until then, I am going to recharge, have a spot of food, and I'll see you next week. Oh, brilliant.